Para kay nanay, for my mother, a single mother's journey to love. That is my Beauty with a Purpose project and it's dedicated to my late mother and to all the single mothers in my community. Being a mother is the most important job, it's the most important role, yet oftentimes they are neglected. We fight so much, we talk so much about women empowerment, so why don't we start with empowering our mothers, most especially those who go through so much difficulties having to raise their families all on their own. Here in Miss World, we are given the chance to fight for causes, to open up meaningful conversations about problems that are otherwise neglected. And here I am, hoping to bring light and to spark a change, positive changes in the lives of single mothers. Back in my community in Cordova, Cebu, there are 2,000 single mothers. So imagine how much more there are in the rest of the world. But they are not give, they're not given the support, they're not given the help that they need. With my project, we give them a safe space, a community for them to feel loved, to feel that they are heard, that they are understood. More importantly, we give them continuous BPO and computer trainings that they can use to equip them with skills to land better opportunities out there, especially amidst the pandemic. It gives them hope that they can still go out there and learn new things and build a good life for their families because that is what I want for them. That is what they deserve. And that is what I would have wanted for my mom too if she was still here. That is my commitment and that is my dream. Thank you. Raise your hand with me if you believe that everybody deserves access to education. So when I went to these girls in my country and I saw that they were robbed, robbed of their dignity, of their innocence, of their women rights, telling their parents telling them that they shouldn't go to school, that they don't have a place in school, that they should stay at home, be housewives, get chores, it made me see the opportunity that we have and how fortunate we are to have education and it just made me want to help them even more. So when I got the crown of Miss Cote d'Ivoire, I looked for these girls and I went out there to see what they wanted to do, what motivated them, and what motivates them is people like me, people like Miss Mexico, people like Miss South Africa, Miss Botswana, who have a dream for them, who just need to pave the way for them, to give them access to this brighter future that they need and that they deserve. And that is what my project is about. It's about women's rights. It's about giving them the education they need because education is so important in a kid's life and it's such an important determinant of who they will be in the future. Thank you. Bienvenido a Puerto Rico. Soy Tracy Enamorada de este país caribeño. <laughs> Welcome to Puerto Rico. This is Tracy, and I fell in love with Puerto Rico the moment I stepped foot in this Caribbean island. So the very first time I landed here, it was about two or three weeks ago. And I was looking for my luggages because I have 10 from the Philippines. I didn't know anyone. I didn't know who to contact or how to contact anyone. And lo and behold, this Puerto Ricanya looked at me, smiled at me, approached me and said, Hello, where are you from? Do you need anything? Do you need internet? Because I have some that I can share with you. And I was blown away. See, the best places in the world don't really need the most amazing and the most beautiful sceneries. They just have to have the best people. But you know what? Puerto Rico just happens to have both. From the white sand beaches, the abundant rainforests, the culture, the food, and the people, Puerto Rico has it all. It took me 40 hours to get here, but it was the best 40 hours of my life and I will do Thank it all you, over again just to be here. Thank you, muchas gracias. Ladies and gentlemen, it is quite simple for Puerto Ricans to advertise for their country. 
but for someone else from another country like me from Cote d'Ivoire to advertise is a whole different story. I've been here for two, going on three weeks, and I can say that I feel right at home. It's so welcoming, the weather, the people, y me encantada por la ciudad, la cultura, la belleza, somos en paraíso. And I've had the opportunity to talk with the mayor of Rio Grande, and I mentioned that my dad is also the mayor of the biggest city, Cotibua. So I understand the hard work, dedication that comes with his position. So I was so happy to have a conversation with him. I was happy to take a picture of him, send it to my country, tell him all about the beautiful places I visited in Puerto Rico, Matalagata, El Dorado, Old San Juan, and everybody watching back home. I really hope that visiting Puerto Rico is on your New Year's resolution list because it's amazing. <laughs>